Hey folks, welcome to a new tutorial series. Um, in this series, we're going to start doing some web mapping with open layers. I mean, open layers can be used for web mapping. It can also be used for applications, um, so web applications or um, mobile applications. Okay, so let's just get into this and start taking a look at how we can get started with open layers. And the plan is in this first video, we're just going to go through the quick example that open layers provides get it working uh, on our machine, and then we can start getting into some more advanced things and learning more about the open layers packaging package and how to apply it from there. Okay, so I'm just gonna come down and click on the quick start. I'm on openlayers.org on the homepage, and let's go ahead and get that. And now this is showing us uh, basically how to put a map on a page. Um, pretty simple thing. So we can copy this to a new file and open it in the browser. Notice at the top it says for, for production, we should we recommend bundling the application with its dependencies. Um, and it's explained on this page here. Um, and so we'll go through that maybe in the next video, but I just want to get us started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Visual Studio Code, uh, which is a great multi-language IDE. Um, I have something opened here. We're just going to close all this stuff and we're going to open a new project. So, uh, let's open a folder. I'm going to go to where I keep my code. Got some web here, got open layers and let's just open this example folder. So let's select that folder. Um, I was messing around with this earlier, so I'm just gonna delete some of this stuff. Uh, we'll delete the node modules. Yep. And I'm just gonna pause this while I delete this from my, my drive here. So just a sec. Okay, so I've deleted any files there. I'm gonna create a new file. I'm going to call it index.html and I'm going to hit enter and you can see we have that index.html opened here and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to copy this document here okay so we're going to copy this and I'm going to bring it over and paste it here okay all right so now I just want to walk through some of these things as we have. I'm going to use Control S to save that, so we're good to go. Okay. So the first thing we have is we've specified this document type is HTML. We've given the HTML tag here to show this is HTML code and the language is English. And we've created a head section. The head section is going to link to all of our dependencies, you could say, and set some global variables. So the first thing here is we have this link to a style sheet. And this is a CSS file. And it's going to style what this web page looks like. Okay, and so this is one that looks like it's on the Open Layers GitHub page. And they're just going to provide the Open Layers style to this web page. The next thing is we're specifying the style for dot .map. Okay, and this is going to be this div ID map. So we're specifying some style for this down here. It's going to have a height of 400 pixels and the width of 100 percent when we close the style tag there the next thing is we're specifying a script and this is a script to ol open layers javascript so this is the open layers library and then we're giving this web page a title which is the open layers example okay and we close the head there to close the web through the the page information basically now we're going to put the body of our web page in here going to have a header that says my map we're going to give it the id of map which we specified a style for here we've got a class which is also map okay and then we're going to give it a script so right here in this in this tag so from here to where we end this script this is javascript now this is no longer html we're writing javascript in an html document and specifying it with the script tag Okay, so we're making a new variable, which is a map. We're making a new open layers map. Okay, 
we're saying the target is map. That's where we want to put it in our HTML document. And we're going to give it some layers. So we want to give it a new uh, open layers layer. And it's going to be a tile layer. And it's going to be this ol.sourceosn. And we'll see what that layer looks like. And we'll go through layers a little later. But this is the layer we're adding to our map. Now we're making a new view, which is a new open layers view. And we're going to center that view on these coordinates and we're going to set the zoom level okay so we'll play around with this in a little bit but first let's go to example and if we double click this it should open up our web page so let's double click that and you can see here we have my map and you can see we have this map layer i can scroll and i can pan and i can scroll to a new area i can pan to new areas okay so we have this web map here right now Okay, so I'm going to close this. I'm going to go back to open layers. There's my email for you. Might as well close that down. Um, and let's just make some changes. So let's change the header. Let's call this now example open layers map. Okay. We can come over here to make this height. Let's make it 500 pixels so it's a little less rectangular. And we can make the width 90% so we have some margins on the side. Okay, so we can adjust some things like this. Now let's change where this is centered. So let's center this uh, at 40 degrees north. And let's make this. Uh, 110 degrees west, which is negative 110.0. Okay, and let's put our zoom level to 10. And let's see where that puts us. Okay, so we can do that. So let's go ahead uh, and save this. Control S. Go back here and we'll open this up. And something I did messed things up. So let's go see if we can figure that out real quick. Come back over. It could be this. Let's just try 40 and 110. Uh, and let's put this to like 5. And let's try to run that now. I'm going to put this back to 100%. Just in case the width is messing things up. So let's save that. And let's go back to our file. And let's run it. And double click on it to open it and we still have some problems okay so let's just run back and let's just i'm going to undo what i've done We're back to what we started with let's control s save that and now let's see if the example works okay so that example works now and maybe i made that too tall Okay, so that's working. Let's see uh, if we can get this to change. We'll change the zoom level. Let's change this to like uh, six. And let's save that and let's see if that works. So pick for example and open this up. Okay, so you can see it's zoomed in closer now. Okay, so let's close that and now let's go back. I thought I closed my email. And let's go back and, uh, oops, sorry, go back to our code and try to change our latitude. So let's change this to like uh, 40.0. And let's try to change this to 0, 0.0. Okay, and let's save that. And now let's try to go and do this again. Oh, I see what's happening. I have it set up so when, when things open, it, uh, email automatically opens okay so you can see that that put us right around there oh and I see what the problem is it's giving me my X and my Y first so we have here uh, this is our latitude and this is our longitude I had those backwards so let's try our negative one one zero one one zero point zero and make this 40. 
And now let's try that, and that should work for us now. Okay, so let's save that, and let's go ahead and uh, run our example again. And there's our open layers, and you can see that puts us in the United States. And now let's uh, go back and we'll change this zoom to like 10 and save it. And then we'll go run the example one more time. And you can see that zoomed us in really close uh, on a specific area. Okay. So those are some of the basics of working with open layers. Okay. Let's real quick just find the different layers we can use and see what other layers we have. And we'll change the layer. Um, and then we will uh, call this tutorial good for now. Okay, so we're just going to change the base layer really, really quick um, so you can see how you can change that. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next tutorial to some other things. Okay, so see where I have this source for the layer? I have an OL layer tile. And I have this new open layer source. I'm going to change this to stamen. Okay, so stamen is going to give us uh, a new base layer type. And Stamen has multiple layers, so I'm going to do layer, and I'm going to specify the watercolor layer. And we need to make this, sorry, this needs to have curly braces around it. Okay, now I'm going to save this, and then I am going to go back to my example and open that up. And there you can see that I now have a new base layer. Now if I go back to this one, that gives me the original layer I had because I haven't refreshed it yet. Okay, so you can see now we have the stamen watercolor layer. And I think there's also a terrain layer. So let's just try terrain. And I'll double check that before we run it. And it's actually terrain labels. So this is going to maybe not give us what we want. But we'll click terrain labels. We'll see what this does. And let's uh, go back to our example. And run it. And you can see it's just probably the label, so we can't see those. We could have added them on top of this. Anyway, so you can see how you can change the layer a little bit there. And that's our basic introduction to open layers to get things working. And um, then we'll continue working with open layers uh, going through these tutorials. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, always remember to check out opensourceoptions.com for the information, tutorials we have there, as well as some courses. Thanks for watching.